Pirmdien kā šitās kājā? Šī var iedot? Kā maš par to šajos blēķumās? Var grabu strankartim i pro? Jā. Jā. Čudno sem izi, da kašaš, pa da maš to vse tako. They do know exactly what I do. There is absolutely no doubt about it. And then it's a coughing and it's this kind of stuff. But, you know, I don't feel sorry for anybody. And as far as the coughing, for that matter, I was told these are going to be a psychiatric pills for me. Uh, so, not really. I don't feel that these are going to be psychiatric pills. The psychiatric pills, even that they made me swallow the psychiatric pills that they had unprecedented damage to me. Uh, they were not psychiatric pills. When I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, I never was inside of the psychiatric hospital. I never, I never took any kind of psychiatric pills. I never was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital. This is just life, basically. And sometimes the life will deliver you to the shit like this that will cause you stuff like this that is just is just life basically. Um, it would definitely be a psychiatric pills if I would not go over and do this stuff. And not because um because somebody would get me or something like this but because or because they promised me that this is going to be and so on but because i wouldn't do my job because i would fail doing my job which i almost fail doing my job then it really for me i would feel it would be psychiatric pills but in this case this is not psychiatric pills i properly explained everything about what took place under my circumstances, it's just commendable the way I handle the whole thing. I am really, really proud about it. I'm proud about myself. This is what was in plan. This is what they were doing since 1997, this stuff. And for fuck's sake, there is no way I possibly could have done it any different. It was done very civilized, very normal, avoiding absolutely everything. I possibly could have uh, and it's really nothing they didn't try in the book to get me killed I just hope I'm gonna survive the cancer I do have a cancer uh, they did play not only with cancer in my right side of the neck jaw but suggested me they already have detected also something in, in the brain area and the Yes, the brain tumor that I can confirm does have, fits the symptoms of the brain tumor in my case. It works like this, look. I did fail the symptoms. Uh, I did have... Uh, loss of balance dizziness uh i did have vision changes i did experience this stuff uh so the chances are that i do have a brain tumor this time actually i might even have a brain tumor uh, i experienced for extended period of time pain in my left uh, face in my left uh, neck area, in in the, the facial area, I, I could feel like something is actually crumb, you know, like something is climbing 
uh, and I even experienced pain in the I don't know how they refer to this stuff as, you know, let me, what is the anatomy? What is the uh, aortic arch? I had all the problems that they were playing with during MK Ultra. This is what they were playing with during MK Ultra, and they delivered this health of mine on the edge with firm symptoms of cancer in jaw and firm symptoms of what likely even is a brain cancer they did and when the time came what they did was they triggered this stuff now well, that was probably extensive damage they have done to it to what they they anticipated it would trigger all these problems that's all there is to my health concerns but as far as this stuff here for which I have even stated that uh, the battery was uh, stolen during uh, my battery, the, the, the battery from the Citroën, from the car that was stolen from uh, the area where my Citroën car is parked. That is exactly correct. It was. It was stolen from the area where my Citroën car is parked. I did not check on that area, however, during the incident. I, I don't mind to tell the truth exactly what it is. I don't have any kind of problem doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I did not check the area. And um, maybe the only thing that is disgraceful, but it's really not disgraceful, because I prepared one here, uh, would be maybe that, that you see the picture that popped up here, for which Prince William insisted this is already when you are fucked in respect to the car battery. He knew and was involved in this stuff. He wanted this way. Uh, it's not, it's not disgraceful. I'm going to fuck his picture right there, and I'm going to demonstrate you this here, and then tell me what do you think about this stuff here. No, I didn't do this because I would assume that somebody is looking at me. I'm not a paranoid. I did this stuff because I planned on. And his picture popped up today, this morning, or it was triggered or whatever the case might be. His picture, I have to see, what, when did they publish this stuff here? His picture popped up here. We're going to see this news here. It's already disappeared, the picture. Oh, shit. Let's see this stuff here. Let's see first his picture. No. Uh, the stuff that you see, the picture that you see is the picture that popped up itself right there. After they learned from me what I prepare earlier today is going to be the case. I'm going to have to complete finish. You understand me what I'm saying? I wrote this stuff down here. I wrote this stuff down here. I knew that I did not tell the whole thing. And the whole thing yet need to be completed. Well, there's a lot of other stuff that I do. But I decided today, early in the morning, that I am going to prepare this stuff. And based on this concept here, we're going to finish this case. And then you have this picture from Prince William that appeared. I knew that I have to clarify the mistakes I have made. I have made very serious mistakes. But these are not mistakes. For as if I would uh, see something here, uh, something is covering, and it did, re really did. Um, so, 
what exactly is is the news here so that we're not going to lose time with this so that i'm not going to waste end up wasting time with this stuff here they had quickly that picture disappear no isn't it interesting why the fuck they 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 had the picture disappear so quickly yeah where is the picture the picture was right there and now the picture is gone i did not take one from american website i don't think i did it's from the british website and so why why would you why would you have that picture disappear so quickly hold on let's see this a little bit this is from the british yahoo style prince william plan put young uh-huh okay so okay so wow what i see here it's like a two hours ago and so it seems to me that he rushed because uh, the whole thing is going to come out if i we we're going to see yet what 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 things how things are going to develop right so you know this is not because this is not because there will be something with me no 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 no. this is not because you know this is just how you do the anxiety today the audio recorders are going to confirm the two sirens already went on as soon as i got up as soon as i started to do this stuff right now the only thing i did was i opened the window i had two sirens flashing blowing through my room where i am at and this was the room they rated this the best one to do the stuff like this uh i'm not the one under anxiety or well, suppose this is supposed to be anxiety and probably even block me from posting on the internet if i would be anxious about mistakes i have made which are really not a mistakes i would not even the only mistake it would be here if i wouldn't do the stuff i do that would be a mistake but the stuff i'm doing is not a mistake all right so two hours ago is not gonna do it look buddy let me explain to you something so do they watch the stuff i do online uh for the google translate they claimed me they are going to be capable if i'm going to make notes through the google translate they will read absolutely everything i would do online oh so do they do the stuff like this they absolutely do stuff like this you know it takes a psychological effort a lot of um, uh, a great deal of uh, physical in my case because it did turn out into something else translate translate and so now you can see that translate will trace in my case what you have seen that i have written i have written about at four o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning today and it's right now 2 p.m i need to use restroom and so this year is all may 25th may 25th i don't know why is it that it doesn't show the time um i feel that it should demonstrate the time i don't know maybe there are some kind of problem here that is not demonstrating the time but you know what i'm gonna say fuck this like this and i'm gonna demonstrate to you 
what in two hours I there was no way I possibly could visit. It's actually now demonstrating me time. Cool. You can see now this, but yeah, if you browse, if you look that on a fast, if you if you enter, it doesn't show the time. So no, I didn't do this because of the photo of uh, of a criminal who is a replica of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who took the instructions from the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and vice versa, trying to do as much as possible psychological harm, raise what is anxiety, um, stress, you know, to create some kind of erratic behavior, something that would really make me eat pills. In other words, something that would really make me uh, not even do my stuff in that sense. I mean, I don't even know because I'm not thinking about, I'm not even analyzing, I'm not even bothering myself with um, not doing my work. I'm not doing like this stuff. This is not, this is not the stuff I do. Uh, but... I don't know that movie because I have never seen one, but it's uh, Orange. Uh, it was some kind of horror movie, Orange. Uh, yeah, this Boys in Orange. I just saw like an excerpt. Uh, I, I, um, I did post the stuff on the internet. I, I'm not going to see that movie. And I don't give a fuck about movies. Um, it's... Um, I think it was made in 69, actually. Uh, 1969. That I remember. Oh, sucks, eh? Um, I like the comparison with this stuff. Um, I like the comparison with it. It wasn't myself only. It was other people that compared them with this stuff. Um, Oh, there you go. No, 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 no. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's really, 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 it's worth it. Seriously, that I had to do this with this video. I had to do it. You see this shit here? You see this kind of stuff? People have raided British royals with this stuff. Man, you know, this is what the fuck you are, man. You are, you are one of this, you know. It was about Charles, Andrew, and even Edward. Uh... Yeah, you're no fucking different, boy. You're no fucking different. I will tell you something. Eh? You're no different. Let's go up here and we're going to do this stuff here. I'm not going to ask why is it that you're no different, but you're just no different. So... So this is basically uh, very good. Yeah. 
No, this is very important for me to make the point that so that somebody is not going to actually uh, crazy assume something. This is a 509. And yes, you better believe it that I did, you know, 509, right? You get it? So this is not, this is not, right? It's not 509 right now. This was the last time when I would mark, but it goes to earlier date. You know, time, date, and it goes like this. You see? And it goes like this to this stuff here. Yeah. So that we, we have totally set this was not done two hours ago, this stuff here that I marked. That I even placed on uh, into the favorites at uh, 5 o'clock this morning to make bloody sure that it would not be under any circumstances. So I don't know where that, exactly that I marked that stuff. And it doesn't matter. Okay, what matters is something else, you know. What matters here is something else, you know. What matters is... I do a lot of stuff, I do a lot of work, and just because I don't get paid that doesn't mean that I don't do a lot of stuff. I do way more stuff than I don't know anybody that would do as much stuff I do. I do browse the computer. I do the stuff which which they intimidated me. I would be also rated as mentally ill if I would. Um, but this is the way to escape violence outside. And this is the way to inform myself more about what went on during MK Ultra. Uh, view people that were involved in MK Ultra and locations they had me and so on, you know? Yes, they uh, they suggested that browsing the internet videos and so on, that this would be just, uh, it would be nothing other than a schizophrenia with which these people have labeled me in 2012 after exercising a lot, a lot of violence. And what exactly were they trying to do with this stuff, with this battery issue? With this battery issue, which they involved absolutely everything in it they possibly could have, they summarized my life, basically, the way they operated my life. My life was nothing other than was operated through extreme violence, which they hope they're going to get the feedback at some point in time, and they did not. Just like in this case, when he, post, he, he posted his photo after I already created this stuff here. Yeah, you're going to see this stuff, don't worry about it. We didn't get there yet. That one I am not going to close. We still didn't get that. We still didn't get to the original uh, translate. Now I want you to see the original translate. Look, you see it? You see where it says 3 a.m. in the morning? Look. Look at it. Now look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Do you see it? You fucking see it. I didn't do. They read, they watch, just as you have seen my mom. My mom was also coughing big time. That's supposed to mean psychiatric pills for me. They watch, they read. I'm not the one who is paranoid. They definitely are paranoid. They get into my work. They disallow me to do my work. 
and they hope they're going to capitalize cash on my mistakes. I don't even call it a mistake. I don't call it a mistake because this battery, this particular battery that they have used to confuse me with on my battery was used all along during MKUltra. It was always the same fucking battery that appeared during MKUltra. Always the same fucking battery. They always demonstrated the same battery. They hyped with this battery. This battery was already imprinted in my, in my head as my battery. Plus that, they made sure that my battery would disappear. Which, I'm going to put it this way. The battery did not disappear from the room where I should not anymore even store one. Because I took this battery from the room where my Citroen car is parked so that I could juice one here and there. With a father's car, that's correct. It's fucked up when the battery that you bring from one part of the house with a broken spine disappears from your car. I was going to take one also to the service from the father's car. That was from the father's car. I took from my car where Citroen is parked to the side of the garage where my father's car is parked. I did juice one. I added one. Some. Uh, I did put some juice in one. To keep one alive. But I thought it would be possibility to take this to the service and have battery totally charged somewhere. So that's why I put one inside of the father's car. Now the battery disappeared from my father's car. Nobody informed me about where the battery went, what was done with the battery, whatever. Anything. And because of the play with the windshield wipers, because of the play with uh, no, I actually would no longer even clean the father's car. I stopped cleaning the father's car because of the rugs that my mother played even with the rugs where you have a gas pedal and was creating the situations repeatedly which easily could lead into the car accident. It was on a frequent basis that I found myself with a carpet that don't even, not supposed to be there, not supposed to be, and they were even turned in a such a way they would block. I saw video recorded. The gas pedals. And forced me to fix these issues during the driving uh, without luckily getting myself into a car crash. I had enough of it, man. She was the one, the only thing that was missing, and she tried to make accident out of it in Bela Kraina. Tried to rush me into the car where I took her to Bela Kraina for, we went for the gas and so on. The only thing that was missing is that she didn't sit behind the wheels. But for that matter, the police needed me. But other than that, my mom was instructor during the driving in extremely violent, loud, physically, uh, psychologically abusive in absolutely every way. Around the house, outside of the house, inside of the car. And this is the stuff they have used that it made me so angry that you, you just go and you take the battery and you hide one. You don't actually take one from the car. But you make one disappear from the father's car when I placed one. They make the battery disappear. So I could not see the fucking battery where the battery is. And I don't want to go and I argue like this. that You hear me on the phone and on the, on, the, on the computer. But I never argue with the mother. I don't do this with my mom. I did raise voice a few times. But I avoid. I go away. I swallow. I take the shit on me. Because I know that once I would start to argue with her, she was doing this stuff all my life. I don't even know how the hell it will end up. That's all there is to it. I didn't do this to appease anybody. I didn't do this shit to appease anybody. I have to, to appease anybody.
what is this now let me see see we were over there already and i think uh, to be completely honest it was not even at four o'clock in the morning that i did but it was actually earlier look at that three o'clock in the morning i just wanted to make sure that that stuff really doesn't disappear me anywhere see three o'clock in the morning and even earlier i did this stuff i'm gonna have exact time once i come to the certain song and i turned the song on to relax myself and then i started to write but this stuff was done this this stuff was done at around three o'clock in the morning at around three o'clock in the morning this stuff was done Two fifty-eight, two fifty-eight. it was marked look at 258 I wanted to bloody make sure that I do this video. You understand me? This isn't because I would... This isn't because I would fear somebody or something like that. Uh, because I would have a, a, some kind of issue hiding something or something like this or a second thought because they thought that I would maybe that they would stall me so that I would not finish the project. No, it is as simple as this. Well, I don't want to demonstrate absolutely everything I do online. Yeah, so, okay. So, look at that. Was it marked in 258 or not? It was, look. We have this tab open. You see it? I'm going to make sure that I close this tab here. Now we're going to go back to the history and I am going to open, open it up just like you see it, just like this. Here it is. L look at it and you can compare it. Oh, what is this? This is nothing. Okay, so then let me see if this one is going to do it. No, this is when I started to write uh, the whole thing, you know. This is what I started to write the whole thing. I'm going to put this one here like this. This is what I started to write the whole thing. So you can actually even see the whole thing in progress now if I go and I open this one here. This is at what? 259 I wouldn't want to be uh, you see it this is where it started to go uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning is when I created this stuff started to work on this project I wouldn't want to be the son from or a relative of any kind from Prince William because he stinks why the fuck is he doing this kind of stuff? What is he trying to look like a, some kind of, even maybe like a patron or maybe even like somebody who, uh, why the fuck you do this stuff? You know, creating this kind of anxiety and so on. Do you know how much work I do, man? You've never done any work in your life, really. Unless the crime you do you consider it as a work. Still, you have a life, you eat good food, you go out there, you have wife, you have kids, you have really normal life and compared to mine. And you don't do any kind of work when compared to me. And you try to patronize me, you try to, uh, to act like a mature person uh, and or create, absolutely create anxiety issues and so on. I'm not going to even say fuck you because you're not worth it. I mean, this movie here, this this here is what summarizes you. I mean, and your uncles, you and your brother, Harry. I'm not going to even bother to say fuck you, you know. But this is what this is. This is how it came to life. Remember? This is not because you or something like that. This is because I, you see? 
When I was inside the, the psychiatric hospital and I was compelled to eat the psychiatric pills that made me so sick that I could barely walk, I barely could move jaws, I still didn't eat any kind of psychiatric pills. It was life. It was life, you understand? This is what you managed. This is what you had ability to do to me. Not because it would be something wrong with me. Not because I would be mentally ill. But because you, you had authority. You have the power to do it. And I couldn't do anything against it. I couldn't. I couldn't resist you physically. And I couldn't resist you in any other form. Because you exercise ultimate violence, ultimate way, no, I'm not, this is not oppression. You don't do this to somebody after 40 years of torture, of MK ultra torture. You don't do this. Look at it. 307. Okay. Fear. I think it is. Absolutely everything needs to be clarified in respect to these issues. Everything that I stated here is the way it was. The battery was stolen from the car that it shouldn't be. It added to more frustrations. It added to more anger. Uh, it made the whole situation even fucking worse. I would not want to go and communicate with my mom. Imagine, and it did happen to me that you cut grass, that you work outside, that you go and you cut the grass on the river bank, which is really steep. It's probably under, I don't know, 60 degree or something like that. And all you get at the end of the day, because your um, handle from what you use to, uh, I don't know how you say that in English, casa, um, how do you say this stuff here in English? I don't even know how you say this in English. Um, or right now, it's not really my priority, right? This broke to me. At the end of the day, it broke to me. It was already broken. I know it was broken because they promised me it's going to break when I will go do the job during MK Ultra. They promised me. And what was also used to take me to the store where I was tortured in the city Trebnje. It's called Trebans. I think it is. And finally, mother purchased a metal, uh, this handle, uh, for you know, so that you can cut grass. Uh, and I don't think you would like it. I don't think you would like to be yelled, screamed at at the end of the day compared with the animal, useless shit. Uh, or you would go and clean the garage at night already. But I was doing my best to clean, you know. And it's the kind of stuff that I knew is going to leave me with a problem. With the feet, with the left feet. Because, you know, as soon as I step on something that is not even, it's a problem. You know, you wouldn't do this. You want to go and do the stuff. And, uh, you know, or called the garage in a cold weather in a winter time and all night fucking long so you can put the car inside and have nicely everything clean and properly and have your mama come and in the morning exercise uh, Mount Everest of uh, uh, not intimidation but you know disgusting disgusting what the Germans used to suggest me uh, that she is not normal, she is this, she is that, she's oh, they were creating pathos on one side during MK Ultra, so all repeated from MK Ultra stuff, demanded from me how to fix the garage and so on, tutored me how to fix the garage. On the other side, you have a mama coming and yelling and screaming at you during MK Ultra. For what uh, the Germans, my friends, my imaginary friends suggested, no, uh, when sh if she would do this, I will rate her as mentally ill. And you have these German politicians that were involved in this stuff.
people that you actually see on the internet. This is the Illuminati. I'm not going to say sacrifice, but the ritual. Illuminati ritual is MK Ultra, and Alex Jones talk about how they drink blood from the babies. And it's a bunch of other people that do this kind of also next to directed energy weapons uh, theories blow out of proportions. This is not okay. This stuff is just not okay, man. I never ate psychiatric pills. Do you fucking understand this? I never did. I never did. And I never ever will for as long as I live. Scum is what you are. Scum. Scum is what you are. Scum. The battery disappeared from my from the father's car. Just as I explained. I used the father's car and the cables even that they chopped me when I purchased the car, just as you have seen. To keep the battery alive, just like all other cables, just like the cables for the telephone, just like everything else they destroyed. It was all about creating pathos, mentally fuck one up, see himself uh, with everything destroyed and so on. And they, they maintained that stuff. They maintained this throughout my life, basically. Desperately using my mother. My father to cause incident, to create an incident. For 52 years. And so it broke down on this battery they have used in MK Ultra. Finally, when I asked my mother where the battery is, she told me. And it was on the day when I was trying to make her feel good about herself, at least give her some kind of courage, something. And took her to the Starigrad, it's called Starigrad, not too far from Otocets. It's a little castle with... It's a little fort, it's not a castle. With a stream and it's this wild garlic that grows there. And, but it was really early in the, in the spring. But I did this deliberately, probably even in the midst of the, I don't know, February or March, I don't, I'm not sure about it. And it was on that opportunity that I asked also my mom where the battery is, and I took the battery, where again, back where I shouldn't do it, where my car is located, Citroën, the old car that I purchased. And they even audio recorded themselves stating that niece's husband will come to pick up the battery way before that batteries, batteries, and the batteries were all over the fucking house. We had the batteries all over the house. We had a three fucking batteries that are batteries that father used for the boat, and they look completely different. They don't look like a car battery. They don't look like a fucking car battery. And the battery, for which I assumed it was my battery, was used all the time during MK Ultra. And all of a sudden you have a guy showing up here without informing you anything about that he's going to come to pick up the batteries. That was like two weeks ago. And he is in a hurry to take the battery. He is in a rush to take the battery. Even if you... you you don't want to take the batteries because of other issues. My car is jammed inside of the garage. The way it was sold to me, it shouldn't be sold to me like this. It was done in a such a way, whatever they have done to the car, it might not even be sold like that. It might have been the police had locals here modify one when I was out of the house, when I went for a walk or whatever, when I was not at home. But it was identical to what they have done to me during MK Ultra when they demonstrated me how the car was jammed and you couldn't move the car and so on and so forth. Identical stuff. 
hell, you can't, you couldn't, you can't, cannot move the fucking car. Whatever they have done to the car, the car they claimed they came with this kind of problem. Um, when was during MK Ultra, they they deliver, they came with a tractor, literally, and they were trying to move this car from the garage. They used other cars to try to pull the car out of the garage, and they couldn't. So there is something in the head. I mean, if you recognize people, if you identify locations and all that stuff, there's got to be something imprinted in the head about the abuse that went on too, right? It makes certain impression on you, right? MK Ultra exists. This guy I like fucking saying MK Ultra doesn't exist. But I'm telling you that MK Ultra exists. And so he's wrong and I'm right. There is such thing like MK Ultra in a world where they make one look as if MK Ultra doesn't exist or even that MK Ultra no longer is relevant or yeah it's the same thing almost almost is because now they are making people insane with the idea that it's directed energies weapons that exist directed energy weapons that exist it's only about directed energy weapons On a day of the accident, on the or I should say on the day of the incident where the incident took place, because I did recall the scenario afterwards, after the incident took place, I did go and I video recorded the stuff and I did start to recall the things that went on during MK Ultra. But when the incident took place immediately, I did not recall anything. I only knew that they are going to do something like this. Foremost, I assumed, because they also insisted me during MK Ultra. To remove other batteries which they shouldn't be removed because they are proof and they were proof they were proof about it they are proof about it and they did this during what i started was a police uh, was a procedure at the police station why would they do it now why haven't they done this before already why once i started to appear at the police they started to do the stuff like this why haven't they done this already before nobody announced himself not a day not 14 days earlier not one month earlier on a day when the battery incident took place when i had a confrontation with this guy my battery disappeared from the area where the car is stored and the battery would not appear at the area where the car is stored till i was ready to go to the police station and by somehow i wanted to make sure have checked the area inspected the area of the car again and the air and the battery again reappeared that doesn't make me nuts that makes you And I am not going to even say. See? See it? Eat it. they did they managed to they managed to deflate they managed to deflate cancer tumor in my head and a cancer in my jaw uh repeatedly they managed to deflate one during mk ultra when they rehearsed that with exercise uh, make me walk all day long and starvation for about a day and a half two days and I really do not know if this is going to make any difference because they had medications for the cancer they had what it takes to stop the cancer but I don't have anything you understand me what I'm saying I don't have any kind of medications I can try to starve myself enough and I will to see if that's gonna stop 
these tumors from spreading and from growing further, but I don't have any kind of medications. Because they make bloody sure they use the psychiatry, the psychiatric pills, literally, that I would not even go, the law in Slovenia even, that I would not go and request medical assistance in respect to the issues that concern literally even cancer, not only spine. So, that truly makes you... I couldn't, I just couldn't find better, better, um, just, just seeing this stuff here, just seeing it. God forbid I would make somebody, God forbid I would make somebody, uh, injustice, especially royals. All the royals involved in MK Ultra know I never ever would lift my hand on any old European family or any kind of royal family anywhere in the world or Asia or whatever, Africa, whatever. I would definitely would not touch one. And that's what really, really, really makes you fucked up.